G'day guys, back again. Um, probably the most important piece of my planetary imaging um, equipment and the thing that if I did not make, um, not one of you would know my name or have seen any of my work. This is my homemade equatorial platform and it really is a simple bit of gear and the primary use of it is planetary and I originally made it for my 10 inch Dobsonian and then I found out that the footprint of my 16 inch Dobsonian was smaller than my 10 inch Dobsonian so as you can see the circles there the circles of the feet footprints so this thing essentially allows me to track the night sky with my manual Dobsonian DSO imaging, whatever you like. Super simple design. It's not any of the designs that were on the internet. Um, I saw all of the designs on the internet, I looked at them, they all look great. They just did not, I couldn't pick one. I couldn't pick one I was happy with. But essentially, I knew the premise of how they work. So the front segments are effectively a cone. And the center of this cone, for me at home, lines up with 33 degrees, which is our South Celestial Pole. Now in order to use it, this line here has to point to the celestial south. So I just line it up with the edge of the board. It's a rectangle. And I know when I look on Google Earth, because it's set up to celestial um, north-south as well. And if I find my home, I'll pick a location. So when it's out, out the front of the house, I know that when I'm set up in a location, there's an object across the street which I align the top of the board with. So I'll put that there, make sure it's due south, north orientated. And then I set it up like that. I find my target in the eyepiece. And then I turn on the motor. And that motor's tracking the night sky doesn't look like it goes anywhere anywhere fast at all I'll put something up in the corner here and you just see how quickly it moves so this will give me about an hour of tracking um, mine's not super accurate so I will make adjustments usually about every second or third um, capture I'll have to make adjustments whether it be a little bit of a speed adjustment or um, I'll just readjust the scope. There's a section here in the center that's it's really quite good, but um, I need to balance balance the uh, the adjustments. I'll put some um, footage up here in the corner of the moon I had out the other day with a 10 inch Dobsonian, and I had it not tracking. The board was stationary. The moon was coming through the eyepiece. And then I turned on the tracking and then it stops. When I'm planetary imaging, it's a fair bit harder to keep it on the chip because it is a homemade bodgy job, but um, still works quite effectively. Ultimately, it's the reason I got rid of the QHY 462C because as amazing as that camera is, the chip is very small so I was flat out keeping it on the chip I was just every I'd be making adjustments during every minute every 30 of seconds or a minute I'll be making adjustments but um, it still got me some superb images um, while I had that camera so it's a great little camera if you've got a manual Dobsonian at home and you want to do some imaging of the planets 
or DSOs, galaxies, whatever you like, clusters, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Get yourself an equatorial platform, build yourself one if you're on a budget. These are a game changer. This is the biggest improvement to my imaging. It's taken me from this to this. They do have their limitations and you've got to understand your night sky, the jet stream, your focal lengths and stuff like that. But hit me up, I'm here to help. Equatorial platforms, game changer. Bye for now.